the Daily Gospel Network, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ every day. Join our featured ministry for happiness, healing, and purpose. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us as we proclaim God's love and help you step into your season. Coming up on the Daily Gospel Network. Welcome church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. Well, greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for joining One Touch Ministries, where lives are truly being changed. Yes, amen. <laughs> well, God is good. <laughs> I'm so glad to have the wonderful, the one and the only. Oh, I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> amen. Pastor Shannon E. Young, Senior Pastor of One Touch Ministry. Woo! Woo! Praise <laughs> God. Well, thank you for the wonderful <laughs> intro. And this is the lovely, exquisite, wonderful wife of mine who's always looking beautiful. Prophetess Night Beecher Young. Oh, Lord. Hey, listen, uh, we're just going to show you a brief commercial. My wife is going to come back and she's going to be giving the word. But I want every man right now to go register for the Game Changers Conference yes. that's happening on March the 20th. So watch this commercial and we'll be right back. Amen. quarterback sees the defense is about to stop them from the goal that they're trying to get to so he calls an audible he makes a switch in the play right before he hikes the ball and so for right now in this time in this season God is saying that he's calling an audible and he needs for you to come into this zoo so that you can know what the game plan is so that we can provide game-changing experiences for you right now. Hey, it's Pastor Clay, and I am so excited to be talking to you right here, right now, in this moment. As I look around me, I'm here in Northern Indiana, and I see snow melting all around me. And let me just tell you, for this Texas boy, that brings me a lot of joy. But I wanna say this, as I see snow melting, it reminds me that the seasons are changing. And I believe that seasons are not only changing in the natural, but I believe seasons are changing in the supernatural. And I believe that God wants to change maybe a season that you've been going through in your life. Maybe it's been a rough season, maybe it's been a bad season, but on the other side of that, the sunshine comes out and God wants to do something great. And so a game-changing moment is about to take place in so many people's lives. And so I'm excited to just bring that message to you today. Let's pray, let's prepare, and let's see what God can do in this new season. What I consider the real pandemic isn't COVID, um, it's not the flu, it's not the COVID vaccine, it's not 2020, it's not Trump, it's not Proud Boys, um, it's not somebody going into, into the Capitol building, it's not terrorism, any of those things. The real pandemic that I see, and that I see that's really plaguing us in America, and even the American church as a whole, um, and globally, is a pandemic called fear. The Bible says that that perfect love casts out all fear. It also says that God, our Father, the one who loves us, the one who called us according to his purpose and set us on his path in life and in righteousness, that he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Grace and peace, I just wanted to let someone know and remind somebody that all things are possible to them that believe. The first part of that verse says, if 
you can believe. Then all things are possible to those that believe. Only believe. Trust God. Yes, a lot of times it's easier said than done. But trust God, there are some great things coming our way. God made us the game changers in the earth. So we are going to change the game. We are going to change the assignment of the enemy. We are going to change the assignment of those that are in power. God gave us the weapons, our worship, our prayer, our warfare, our praise. Only believe, only believe. And do not forget that because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. In Jesus' name. Well, God bless everyone. Before we get to my message, listen, I just want to let you know about my CD, The Journey. And yes, it was a journey. This CD is going to bless your life. I'm telling you, we got some really, really great people on this CD. I'm telling Miss Tammy Meekins, she does awesome background vocals. I am just so glad that I had the opportunity to present this CD to you guys. Listen, the journey has really been what it says, the journey. I've been able to express how God has blessed me through different things, different changes, different processes of my life. So I'm so glad. And one other special person that is special and that's on this CD, my husband. <laughs> yes, my husband, my wonderful husband. I'm telling you, I'm so excited. And I truly praise God for him because if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, Bless me with a wonderful husband to help sow seeds into making the journey. So I'm excited. So it's on all your major platforms. Amazon, okay, CD Baby, everything. Go get it. It's going to bless your entire life. Listen, my husband also is going to put down at the bottom, he's going to tell you about our our t-shirt line which is called the agape love line I want you to get a love shirt okay it says love on it because why we need more love in this world I want you to get the opportunity to wear the agape love line t-shirt I'm telling you it is phenomenal I did not I designed those things myself and I'm telling you they have t-shirts they have bags they have hats they even have dresses as well so you have the opportunity to get the love on your shirt because we need to show more love to one another our friends and our family listen I'm not going to tie up your time because I want you to hear the word of God. I want you to be empowered today. I want you to feel God's presence in your home through the message that God has given me to give to you. So I thank you so much for allowing me to come into your home and to be a blessing to you and your family. Make sure you call a friend. Make sure you let someone know that God loves them. And he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. God bless everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Prophetess Naditra Young. I know you probably just got finished watching a commercial commercial with my awesome husband and the men of valor. I'm telling you, if you don't register, shame, shame on you. But I'm telling you, it's going to be phenomenal. It is going to change your life. So I expect for you to go ahead and register and allow God to change your life. Men of God, I'm telling you, it's going to help you. Praise God. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go ahead on and get right in and dive in into the word because God has got a word for you and he's going to use me today to give it to you. And I'm truly, truly excited to be able to be the one that he has chosen to give the word to you today. My God. Well, before we get started, let's just bow our heads and go right into a word of prayer. 
Father, we thank you right now for each and every viewer today, God. God, we ask you to bless each and every person, God. We ask you to heal their hearts, heal their minds, God. Allow them to receive from you today. God, we just ask you to change the lives of your people. We bind up the hands of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus that may try to come up against your people, that may try to put stumbling blocks in the way of your people. But Father, we know that you're able to turn things around. We thank you today for shifting the atmosphere, for shifting people's lives today. And God, we just give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo -woo. God is so good. Listen, God gave me a word for you today. And the topic of the message that God has given to me today is, there's an unusual sound inside of my belly. That's right. There's an unusual sound inside of your belly today. And you're saying, okay, what's the unusual sound? Each and every person has a sound, a sound that God has given you, a percent, a, a, a awesome sound, a, a, a major sound inside of your belly. And today, you have got to get it out. So I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, shh, neighbor, I'm speaking. Woo, glory to God. I said, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, shh, I'm speaking speaking because God is speaking through you today. My God from Zion. If you can turn with me to Matthew the 15th chapter verse 17. I'm going to go there on my phone because listen, I'm going to tell you something this word is going to be awesome and it's going to bring it's going to bring peace to your heart, your mind, your soul and your body today. It says in Matthew's 15th chapter, verse 17. And I'm going to be reading from the Amplified Version. Because sometimes the King Version, King James Version is awesome. But sometimes people get a little bit confused. But with the Amplified Version, it breaks the word down where you can understand and you can receive it so much better. My God. Do you not understand that whatever goes into your mouth... <laughs> passes through the stomach and is eliminated. I'm going to read that again. It says, do you not understand that whatever goes into the mouth, ha, whatever you're speaking, whatever you're talking about, it passes through. It goes through your stomach and is eliminated. Okay. You're probably saying, okay, so what does all of that mean? What it simply means, whatever we speak out of our mouths goes in our belly. It rests in our belly. My God. And it eliminates ha -ha, what God is trying to do. So if you speak negative words to yourself or to others, it rests in someone's belly. And whatever God has placed in the belly it gets eliminated. It doesn't have the opportunity to come out. Well, today, God wants to bring out the sound, the unusual sound that's inside of your belly. God has a sound in your belly that must come out. The worship that's inside of your belly must come out. The sound of the praise that's inside of your belly must come out. God has an unusual sound inside of your belly. You're probably saying, well, what's so unusual about me? Because nobody is the same. That's right, nobody. When I say nobody, I mean nobody is the same. Even though you may be a twin, but there's something a little bit different that uh, 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 pushes you to the point where it's like, okay, I can tell the difference between the other twin. I have twin nephews, uh, and I'm telling you, there's times when I can't tell the difference, but there are times be, that I can tell that there's a difference. Why? Because one of them has an unusual look, or one has 
an unusual sound that comes out of their mouth. So you have an unusual way about you. You're different. You don't do ministry like everybody else. God said that's unusual. My God. God said you're not traditional or you don't follow the rules that everybody else follows, but you get the word out. God said that's unusual. That's an unusual sound that's inside of your belly. And that must come out. Oh my God from Zion. Okay, I'm going to relax myself. This reminds me of a story in the Bible. The story of Hannah. <laughs> oh, poor little Hannah. Hannah and Penina. If you will go to 1 Samuel, you can find this story inside of 1 Samuel. My God from Zion. 1 Samuel. It talks about how Hannah and Penina were married to her, a man. My God. And Penina was able to have children, but Hannah couldn't. So it was like a different thing going on here. A, a Penina would, would beat up Hannah because Hannah could not have children. She couldn't produce. Uh, my God from Zion. So Penina would say things out of her mouth that would cause Hannah to be in a position where she would be angry or where she would be sad at times. Sometimes her emotional state would go up and it would go down. Just like you and I, ladies. Sometimes when people say negative things and it hits our bodies, it hits our souls, it causes us to have an emotional breakdown. It causes us to have an emotional attack. My God, and it causes us to have tears come out of our eyes. It causes us to say things come out of our mouths that's not of God. This is what happens when people antagonize you. So I'm telling you, my God from Zion, be careful from the antagonizer. Be careful. Don't get tricked up with people who like to antagonize you and cause you pain. My God, separate yourself from the antagonizer. And separate yourself from the trickery of the devil. Okay, I'm not going to go there too long. I'm not going to stay there, but I'm going to tell you how Panina, she would antagonize Hannah. And she would cause Hannah to cry and cause Hannah to get upset at times these are the words that were coming out of her mouth my god so so that goes to show you the words that were coming out of her mouth that were negative they were trying to abort and eliminate her what god was trying to do inside of her my god from zion god wanted to produce a child inside of hannah but because panina was blocking a lot of us say oh she's blocking she's trying to stop her she's a hater well that's exactly what panina was doing she was hating on Hannah. My God from Zion. But let me tell you something about Hannah. Woo. My God. Let me tell you something about Hannah. Hannah refused to digest huh, the words. She refused to digest the words that were coming out of Panina's mouth. The hurtful things that were coming out. So I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, you got to get to the point where you are willing to stop digesting the negative words that people say. A lot of times it's called word curses. Yes, word curses have a tendency to stick to you like glue. And it binds you up and puts you in a position where you begin to fight against yourself. And then sometimes you're shaking the shackles on your arms, the shackles on your legs. It puts you in a position where you're binding you can't move and then sometimes you trip over your own feet my god so that means you're fighting against yourself but god today wants to break huh? he wants to break all the word curses off of you yes i'm talking to you god said he wants to break it he wants to cut the word curses but it's up to you to surrender put your hands up right now and begin to tell god say god i want to be released. I want to be released from the word curses. I'm telling you today, I wish I had an organ behind me today. I wish I had somebody that's willing to say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. 
God, I praise you. But I'm here to tell you right now, you can ba 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 she. I'm getting warmed up here. I'm telling you, God is trying to cut the word curses. I'm telling you, God is trying to take the shackles off your feet so you can dance. My God, God is trying to tell you right now. He's trying to take the shackles off your hands so you can dance right now. God is trying to tell you right now. You have the air of opportunity. I said the air of opportunity. Oh, glory to God. To move. And you have the air of opportunity to be better right now. But you got to lift your hands up and say, yes, God. Not my will, but your will shall be done inside of my life. You got to get to the point where you're willing to stop digesting the word curses. You got to get to the point where you're willing to cut off any negative thing that's not like God. I said cut it off. You're willing to take back everything that the devil tried to steal. And then you're trying to take back and you will take back everything that you put on a silver platter for the devil to take. Oh, glory to God. Everything ain't the devil. Some things is just you. I I said it. That's right. I said it. Uh, some things is just you. Uh, sometimes the devil uh, takes over your mind. Uh, and sometimes you give over your mind uh, to the devil. And you allow the devil to come in uh, and take full control of your mind. Uh, you allow him to come in uh, and take over and do whatever he wants to do. But today is your day. Uh, somebody turn to your neighbor and say, today uh, is your day. Uh, call somebody on the phone and say, neighbor. Oh, neighbor, I got something to tell you. I got to call you. I got to let you know. I got to release this unusual. I said this real unusual. This kind of crazy feeling unusual. Ha, word that's inside of my belly. I got to let you know that God wants to change not only just your life, but he wants to change my life. Who got my God from Zion? You got to get to the point where you're willing to release these people, willing to release the haters, willing to release the naysayers, willing to release what your mama did, what your daddy did, what your grandmama did, what your uncle did. Yes, you may be molested. I was molested too. Yes, you may have been raped. I've been raped too. Yeah, you may say I had an abortion. I had one of them too. But let me tell you something about God. He has a way to turn things around. Oh, glory to God. You probably say I've been beat up. I've been beat up too. Uh, yes, they told me I wouldn't make it. Yes, they told me I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, but let me tell you something about God. Uh, let me tell you something about God. Uh, he said he will uh, correct it all. Uh, he will redeem the time on your life. Uh, but it's up to you. Uh, but it's up to you uh, to be willing to take over and say, God, I'm done. Uh, I'm willing. Uh, I'm willing to let go. Uh, I lift my hands up right now, God. And I release myself to you. Woo, Glory to God. But one thing about Hannah, Hannah was willing to keep her mouth closed and let the naysayers say what they had to say. Uh, Hannah was willing to go uh, and get alone with God real fast uh, and begin to pray and say, God, now listen here. I know what they're saying about me. I know they say I'm barren. Uh, I know what the doctor said. Uh, he said it wasn't going to work. Uh, he said the fertility pills wouldn't work. Uh, the shots wouldn't work uh, because I don't have enough eggs. Uh, I'm not producing enough eggs. My man is not producing enough sperm. But let me tell you something about God. But if you learn how to go to God in prayer, go to God in secret and get on your knees and lay before the Lord and say, Lord, not my will, but not my will, but your will must be done in my life. If you grant me, if you grant me a seed, if you grant me a baby, if you grant me the uh, uh, the child, the child that I need, God. I will die. I have I will dedicate this child back to you. And that's what Hannah did. She dedicated that baby back to the father. She said, Father, if you bless me with a baby, I will never cut his hair. I will dedicate this baby back to you. I will give this baby back to you. My question to you today is, 
Are you willing to give God the unusual sound that's inside of your belly? Woo. You say, I can't produce children, but there's a ministry that may be wanting to be produced out of you. There's a business that wants to be produced out of you. There, 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 there's, there's something inside of you that wants to be produced. God said, are you willing to give it back to me and make it mine and do it for my glory? And if you are, ha, woo, blessings belong to you. Healing belong to you. Ways shall be made for you. If you don't know Jesus, now is the time to accept him. Now is the time to lift your hands and say, Father, forgive me, for I have sinned and I've fallen short of your word. Take me back, Father. God, break my will so your will can be done in my life. Ha, say that again. Say, break uh, my will, Father, so that your will shall be done in my life today. God, I want you to take over me and do for me what needs to be done. And if you were willing to say those words, my God from Zion, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, God, will do a new thing inside of you. I guarantee you that God will come in and turn <laughs> Woo, things back around. I guarantee you, you will no longer look through your rear view mirrors. You will look straight ahead and see what God has in store for you. There's light at the end of the tunnel, but it's up to you. I can lead you to the water but I shall not cup my hands for you to drink out of it. It's all up to you. God said, I love you, but you gotta be willing to accept me. I love you, my daughter. I love you, my son, but you got to be willing to confess that Jesus is Lord over your life. I thank you. I appreciate you. I ask God to continue to bless you in your home. Whatever the unusual sound. <laughs> oh, God. Whatever the unusual sound that's in your belly. I ask God to bless it in the name of Jesus. I ask God to move on your behalf. I ask God to do what needs to be done. I ask God to give you your heart's desire. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to do for you what needs to be done in your life, even in your family, even in your finances, even on your jobs, even in your home. I ask God to do for you what needs to be done. If there's any sick among us, God, we ask you to heal the body. Wherever the pain may be, touch your body right now and begin to declare and decree, decree and declare your healing in the name of Jesus. And you say, well, I don't know how to do that. All you got to say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. All you got to say is, I'm healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You are healed in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. Woo! And give God a praise. Put your hands up and say, God, I thank you. Because God has been good to you. I God, ah, my God, my God. We bless your name, Jesus. We love you. We thank you. And may heaven smile upon you. God bless you. Amen. For information on today's Spotlight Church, visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network, and until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.